Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 101 and today we are going to look at the offset function. Alright, so uh, before I presume, I mean I resume, I'm assuming that you have the jQuery file with you in your project, right? You have added the reference of that into your head section and you have some basic JavaScript good to go in order to execute our jQuery instructions. Right, so if all that things are in place, now then let's look at the markup. We have one H2 element and we have four paragraph, but we are focusing on the last one, which has some basic CSS as a class green, which means I'm applying a border of five pixel and the color is green. Pretty basic, and I'm setting some width, which I don't need to. So anyways, uh, what the offset function does is it gets and sets the top and left of your element which is relative to a document. All right, so I'll explain that part later. But now understand, this function can give me a top and left. So if I uh, run this thing uh, that I'm right here and I'm running the fifth part, so I'm running the offset. Uh, so basically I'm looking my element right here, right? And it gets the top and left. So now I'm gonna open the jQuery and I'm gonna, you know, use the offset function onto my last paragraph which is right here and once I capture the value in it then I'm going to do the alert by saying hey your top is this and your left is this so let's uh, you know <clears throat> uh, preview that so you can see uh, my top is 165 that means I'm my paragraph 4 is top 165 and the left is 8. Now you might say, all right, I understand the top is from 165, but why my left, I'm sorry, my, uh, you know, the left is from the 8. And the reason for that is, if you look at the layout, you can see there's a margin of 8 applied to the body, which is a default one. So that is the reason why you are getting the left as 8. Ideally, you were expecting, I guess, 0. Okay. So I hope you get the idea. Okay, so we are cool now, right? So, and the second thing, if I want to set, uh, you know, the offset of an ele any element, basically I want to set uh, the top and left, so I can do the same using the offset function again, where I need to provide a property top and left to an element, so I'm doing the 20 and 40 here, so I'm assuming my element, uh, my element will shoot up, I'm sorry, will shoot up approximately around here. So let's uh, save that. All right, it's already saved. And now the position of my paragraph four will change. So like I told you, the paragraph four has been moved to 20 and what, what was it? 20 and left is 40, right? So I hope you got the idea how to use the offset, but please remember this is relative to document, not to an element, I mean not to its parent. All right. All right. So up next, we are going to look at the height. All right. So once again, you're, thank you for your time on this and thank you for listening to me. I will see you when we discuss about the height.